Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. With the advent of the Fuji X-T2 and the advent of the previously released X-Pro2, which I have here for testing, I can't wait to get the X-T2 in. I'm just tickled with that camera. Um, but I was curious what were the best selling, or actually in this case, the best reviewed lenses on Amazon, the best reviewed Fuji lenses on Amazon. So in other words, that is what have what Fuji lenses have the highest customer reviews on Amazon. So let's go have a look. First up, foremost here, you could see um, that we have the Fujinon, the Fuji XF 16mm f1.4 RWR. And um, very highly reviewed lens here, five out of five stars. Uh, we've got 30 reviews. Now you need to bear in mind with these reviews that, I mean, Fuji doesn't have the sales numbers of Canon and Nikon. So you're not going to see, it's not really a negative that you've got 30 reviews here um, because it's just, you know, like very few people leave a review and very few people take the time to leave a positive review. Most people will leave a review if it's negative. So to see 30 people with five out of five stars on a non-top selling camera brand now don't get me wrong here fuji sells a lot of cameras but in comparison to nikon and canon they're still a small player so this what i'm what i'm saying here is this is a really good rating five out of five stars for 30 uh user reviews so the the list on here is 9.99 um, you can get them for as low as 8.99 new and then there's some used ones here for 865 which is a good indication too i mean these lenses are holding their value these are beautifully made lens and uh, i can see why this is popular because this is essentially um you know 24 millimeter f14 lens so i mean as you can see here this is a really nice looking lens the build quality on these lenses is beautiful um, i have handled these lenses uh, at fuji i don't know if i've shot with this one or not but a great lens you know it's uh, like I said, 24 millimeter equivalent, and uh, just a really, really nice lens. Weather resistant, nine ceiling points, minimum working distance of less than six inches. Um, just a great lens. I understand why people really like this lens. A little surprised that this is the number one average reviewed lens, because I wouldn't have thought that 24 millimeters was the most popular. But um, this certainly has the highest currently. Uh, average customer reviews on Amazon. Now, second is kind of interesting because it's not a Fuji, it's a Rokinon. We've got the Rokinon 50mm uh, F1.2 AS-UMC high-speed lens. Now, Rokinon makes great lenses, just they are manual focus. But you can see it says seven reviews. It's five out of five stars. At $4.99, you could see why this would be uh, of interest to people is because uh, for a 50mm f1.2 lens for $500, that's pretty good. And and these are, you know, traditionally Rokinon makes very, very good optics. Uh, you just, they're just not out of focus. You know, that's, that's the caveat. It's not the negative, it's just the caveat. They're able to offer you a great quality lens. It's just manual focus lens. So, um, good deal. Seven uh, customer reviews so far, five out of five stars. And uh, just of interest that that is not a... Um, Fuji lens. I would actually, I love 50s on an APS-C body. That's a, you know, on the Fuji, that's about a 75 millimeter field of view. And uh, I would, I would love that lens. Third on here comes of no surprise to me, the uh, Fuji XF 18 to 55 F28 to 4 zoom. Now this is the, um, it, it lists this as the international version. It's 489.19 it says here, and you can get them for 368 used. This could be the best built, best performing kit lens ever. I mean, this is an f2.8 to 4 zoom. So you've got f2.8 at the wide end. You could treat it like I often do with the variable aperture lens as a, as a constant f4, in which case it's still quite a fast lens. It's not a 5.6 variable aperture, but it's a very nicely built lens. It's Fuji's metal body, nice build quality. It's just a beautiful little lens. I've shot with this on quite a few of the uh, of the X-Series bodies, and this is one of my favorite lenses from Fuji, and it's a kit lens. I think that's why it's one of my favorites, because for value, this thing just reeks of performance and build quality and good value. I mean, it's just 
there's nothing about this lens that I can criticize. And you know, it's got five reviews, uh, five out of five stars. Um, you can get them as low as uh, 379 here used. Uh, it's just a great little lens. In fact, this is the lens I would buy anytime I was buying an X-Series camera with a, uh, a kit option. So um, the the fourth place here, if we go to the five um, top lenses, is the 55 uh, variable aperture. So the 55 to 200 f3.5 to 4.8, the XFR LM OIS zoom lens. And um, that's 699 And it's a great little zoom lens too. Um, I have, uh, I think it's that one I have here right now with the X-Pro2. And um, very nice build quality, very decent lens. You know, it's not a super fast lens. It is variable aperture. But again, it's Fuji's, you know, legendary, I would say, build quality, just beautiful build quality. And this one, um, actually, this listing is a great listing because it comes with all these other little little goodies that are free add-ons. Um, so to get that for, uh, you know, these pricing around $699, uh, it's a great uh, little lens. And I can see why um, it's in the top five. It's only got two customer reviews, but five out of five stars. Uh, personally, I have shot with it, and I really do like this little lens for the for the uh, the X system. It's nice. And then the the fifth uh, best reviewed lens is the uh, XF eighteen to one thirty five f three five to five six R L M O I S W R lens. Um, always a bit of a mouthful with the nomenclature. This is a great option for Fuji if you're looking for you know a travel lens or an all around lens. Um, you know, it's the same reason I like the 18 to 135 on the uh, Canon side, or even the 18 to 140 on the Nikon side. You know, it gives you a 27 to 206 millimeter equivalent. Again, very nicely built Fuji quality lens. It's got two ED elements, uh, four aspherical elements. Uh, it's got the multi layer lens coatings, uh, inner focusing system, um, weather sealed construction, uh, seven bladed. Um, rounded diaphragm filter thread uh seven bladed rounded diaphragm filter thread uh that is i think they meant to say seven bladed iris and then the diaphragm filter thread is 67 millimeters i could be wrong but i think that's just the listing nomenclature issue in any case um great little lens not surprised at all it's got five out of five stars for two customer reviews but again great build quality and a great travel lens you know you throw this on any of the x series cameras and you got a 27 to 206 you could arguably shoot your whole trip with that um i would probably want a fast prime in the bag as well but you know that with a fast prime and i'm okay with that as a kit um especially you give me the xt2 and bingo we're good to go so anyways i am not at all surprised um, to see all of these lenses in the top five, perhaps a little surprised on, on ranking. I'm kind of surprised um, that the 16mm f1.4 is number one for average reviews. Uh, I guess when we're looking at reviews, I'm not surprised because I think anybody that owns that lens is going to be thrilled with it. So maybe that's, you know, not so much a surprise. Kind of surprised to see the Rokin on there. Although again, really nice 50. Um, it's just, I guess, the fact that it's the manual focus and a non-Fuji lens up there. But uh, yeah, the rest of them don't surprise me at all. As I said, my favorite kit lens is in there, that number three there, the 18 to 55 f2.8 to 4. What do you guys think? Do you do you look at this and are surprised? Do you look at this and go, oh yeah, that makes total sense? Are any of your favorite Fuji lenses in these top five ranked reviewed lenses on Amazon? Um, is there something else you thought you would have seen there? Another Fuji lens, another other lens with a Fuji mount. Let us know in the comments below what your reactions are here. Did this surprise you? Did it not? Is there something that you think we should have seen in there? Are you surprised something that is in there is there or at perhaps the rankings of what is here? Leave your comments below. Let's discuss it a bit. I was just curious, as I said, with the new X-T2 coming out, it's interesting to look at this, these type of um, rankings and see uh, you know, what other people are finding to be their favorites in the Fuji system. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon. Uh, as always, I will put uh, all the links below for these lenses on Amazon. You could check them out, the best price and all the reviews and whatnot in the Q&A. Um, but we'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.